right, there were eight bottles, each containing two and a half liters of syrup. So they say each, each means one bottle. One bottle contained um, two and a half liters of syrup. Okay, three over five of the total amount of syrup was poured equally. So this one, and then three over five of the total amount of syrup was poured equally in 10 empty glasses. Okay. How much syrup was there in each glass? Express your answer as a mixed number in its simplest form. So I need a mixed number in its simplest form. Okay. So if you look at Jamal's answer just now, he said 1.2 liters is decimal, right? This is not mixed number. So definitely this is wrong. Okay. So let's go through step by step first. So what I want to know is I want to find the total amount first, total amount of syrup. Okay. I have eight bottles each. Each means one bottle. One bottle is two and a half liters. When you see a fraction with the unit at the back, Check together with your units. The liters is the units, right? What units? That is the measurement. Units of measurement. So when it is stacked together with a unit of measurement, this is now a value. It is actually the amount of syrup in the container. So this is in terms of liters. It's no longer a fraction just on its own. It is now a value. It is the capacity of the syrup in the bottle, okay? Or the volume of the syrup in the bottle. So, you want to find eight bottles. What do you do? So, from one to eight, one times eight, give me eight. Over here, you have to do the same, times eight. So, two and a half times eight equals two. How do I times fraction? Can I just times like that? 2 times 8, 16, then we'll half at the back. Cannot, okay? So you have to change the mixed number to become improper fraction first. So 2 times 2 plus 1. You go this way. You go anti-clockwise, okay? 2 times 2 is 4. 4 plus 1 is 5. 5 out of 2 times 8 over 1 equals 2. What do I do? I look crosswise see anything which can be simplified first so i have two and eight two can divide by two one eight divided by two four then you look row wise numerator denominator five times four is 20 20 what 20 liters this is my total amount okay total amount of syrup inside and then what happened to this total amount of syrup? They were poured equally into 10 empty glasses. So I want to know how much are there in each glass. Okay. So when I see the word equally, when I see the word each, what comes into my mind? Divide. Okay. So I have my 20 liters divided by 10 glasses. Right? Equals to, okay, sorry, we don't go there yet. Not everything was poured, sorry. Three over five of the total amount. So not everything was poured to the glasses. Only three fifth, three over five of the total amount was poured. I missed out that one. This one, only three fifth only. Equals to three over five of means times. The total amount is 20 liters, right? Equals to over one. Can I do anything? Can I simplify crosswise? I can't do anything. So what I can do is I can just put it as numerator. Three times 20 is 60 over five. Okay. Well, actually I can eh, simplify. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Five and 20. Divided by five is one. Divided by five is four. Ah, yeah. Then I go row wise. Ah. Three times four is 12. Over 1 times 1 is 1. Equals to 12 liters. So only 12 liters were poured into 10 glasses. Only 12 liters. I want to know in each glass. So 12 liters divided by 10. Equals to. So how do I divide this? D 
divide is also known as fraction. So 12 over 10 equals to, I want a mixed number. Just now Jamal gave me 1.2, which is okay, but the question say mixed number. I don't want it to be in decimal. So 12 divided by 10 will be one whole, two over 10. They say simplest form, right? So divided by two, divided by two equals to one whole, one over five liters. So not this, but one, one over five liters. All right, that's my answer. So figure PQRS is a square. You can see the big square, right? And then M and N are midpoints. You can see that M and N, M is the middle point of P and Q. And N is the middle point of Q and R, okay, midpoint, right? So whatever is in the middle, the line here, consider this one, is half of R and Q. This line, red color line here, is half of P and Q, okay? That's what I'm trying to say. What fraction of the figure is shaded? So I want to know what fraction of this figure is shaded. So if you want, you can actually further cut the whole thing into uh, parts. Okay, let me see. Okay, this is one way to do so, right? And then when you actually do this, you can see that there are certain parts that we can move about, okay? So for example, uh, I use another color. This one I shade in green. Can you see? And then this one I shade in blue. Can you see? So the green color part can move to this portion. So this is the green color part as well. Yeah. And then the blue color part can move to this portion. So this is the blue color part. So you can see once I do that, right? Uh, now this thing is no longer there. This thing is no longer there. Everything is just filling up. It's filling up just one square. Everything is filling up just one square. Out of how many squares do I have? I have one, two, three, four. Correct? I have four parts. So the whole triangles, just now I moved, moved them already. It is uh, actually filling up one out of the four squares available. Can you see? One out of the four parts available. So my answer for part A is just one over four. That's it. Okay. Now they ask you the length of the square is, uh, the length of square PQRS is 12 centimeter, which means a square have all the sides equal, right? So this one is 12 cm. This is also 12 cm. Okay, now I want to know, find the area of the shaded part. So the shaded part is actually one quarter of the square. Correct? Okay, so now the square area, the square area, what is the square area? Can I find the square area first? Now you do be area of square P, Q, R, S. Equals, so you know how to do area of square, right? We know length times breadth. So this is my length and this is my breadth. Or either or. It's the same because they are equal, right? Equals to 12 cm times 12 cm. Equals to 144 centimeter squared. Right? Now, is that what I want? No, I want the shaded part. Remember, shaded part is one quarter of the square from the first one that I find out just now. So one quarter of the square area, this is area, of square area will be one quarter here. Of means times, the square area means one, four, four. Okay, over one. So what can I do? I can take one, four, four divided by 4. Okay, and I will get divided by 4 is 1, divided by 4 is 36. 36 centimeter squared. Answer. And this is answer. Alright? So, actually, you do not have to use area of triangle formula to solve this question. All I did was, I find the area of the square. 
and then I take, since I know that the shaded part is one quarter of the square area, I take one quarter of square times square area. Understand? This is another way of going about area of triangle. 